So in this video, we are going to continue with the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions. So we have five questions here. We are going to solve these questions. Now before we attempt these questions, let's take notice of these important things. A. The derivative of sine inverse of x with respect to x is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x square. The derivative of cos inverse of x with respect to x is equal to negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus x square. The derivative of tan inverse of x with respect to x is equal to 1 over 1 plus x square. The derivative of sec inverse of x with respect to x is equal to 1 over the absolute value of x times the square root of x square minus 1. The derivative of cosec inverse of x with respect to x is equal to negative 1 over the absolute value of x times the square root of x square minus 1. And then lastly, we have the derivative of cot inverse of x with respect to x to be equal to negative 1 over 1 plus x square. So basically we are going to use the derivative of this inverse trig functions to solve questions 1 to 5. So let's start off with 1. So for question 1 we have f of x to be equal to sine inverse of 2x. So to find f prime of x, that is the derivative of this function with respect to x, then basically we are going to differentiate the argument. Now the derivative of 2x with respect to x is 2. So we have that at the numerator. Notice that we are using the formula in A. So after differentiating this with respect to x, next we are going to substitute 2x in place of x. So we have the square root of 1 minus 2x all square. So this is equal to we have 2 divided by the square root of 1 minus we have 2x all square. So that becomes 4x square. So that is f prime of x. Now let's move on to 2. We have f of x to be equal to tan inverse of 2x. So f prime of x is equal to, we are going to use the equation we have at c. So first of all, we are going to differentiate 2x with respect to x. And that is equal to 2 over, we substitute 2x in place of x. So we have divided by 1 plus 2x all square. That is equal to 2 divided by 1 plus 4x square. Now let's move on to 3. So for 3, we have f of x to be equal to cosec inverse of 5x squared. So we have f prime of x to be equal to, now notice that the derivative of cosec inverse of x with respect to x is equal to negative 1 over the absolute value of x times the square root of x square 
minus 1. So basically, we differentiate 5x squared with respect to x, and then we have 10x. Notice that we have a negative here, so that is the negative. We have absolute value of x, that is 5x squared. So absolute value of 5x squared times the square root of x squared minus 1. So that is 5x squared or square minus 1. Let's simplify this. So we are going to have negative 10x or divided by the absolute value of 5x squared still remains as 5x squared. We have times the square root of 5 squared is 25. x squared squared is x to the power 4 minus 1. So we cancel out x and then one of the x's. 5 goes here 2 times. 5 goes here once. Therefore, we have f prime of x to be equal to negative 2 divided by x times the square root of 25 x exponent 4 minus 1. Now let's move on to 4. We have f of x to be equal to cot inverse of 2x squared. So the derivative of cot inverse of x with respect to x is equal to negative 1 over 1 plus x squared. So we have f prime of x to be equal to, we differentiate this so that we have 4x, we have the negative here divided by 1 plus 2x squared or square that is equal to negative 4x divided by 1 plus 2 square is 4 x square square is x exponent 4 now to 5 we have f of x to be equal to cos inverse of 3x so f prime of x is equal to now even before that the derivative of cos inverse of x with respect to x is equal to negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared so we have we differentiate this we have 3 and then because of the negative we have negative 3 divided by the square root of 1 minus 3x all square that is equal to negative 3 divided by the square root of 1 minus 3 square is 9 x square becomes x square so that is f prime of x so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye